Hello, lovely brothers. Uh, welcome in the men's corner uh, on our men's talks. So uh, now I will speak about uh, the connection with the heart. Why is it so important, crucial step uh, on uh, the tantric path, especially for the men? So yes. Um, it's your love center. Love, it's the strongest power in our life. Uh, and so often, especially in the men's, uh, it's blocked you know, by some conditionings. Uh, like, hey, you should not be in touch with your emotions. Uh, the boys uh, don't cry and things like that. So, um, Yes, um, let me explain uh, on the energetical level uh, uh, the ma most active uh, in general uh, chakra uh, for the man is uh, the first, the root chakra. It's like all about survival and sex. That's our drive, that's most uh, what uh, attracts us uh, in a moment at the first uh, uh, place, like the sexuality. Uh, I can make love, that's what you know the men are uh, drive, uh, driven into. Like, uh, but uh, then, yes, uh, in woman. It's a bit uh, different. Uh, she has extension here. Uh, it, her, for her, the heart is the most active. So when you would like to be successful in your relationship uh, life, uh, you have to realize this big difference. The woman expect love before they open their legs. The men, uh, they want sex before they start to feel love and so on so it's like they have they need this sexual attraction to open their hearts and so on uh, but uh, yes for many of us uh, we are conditioned to not to be in touch in connection with ourselves with this uh, more feminine side of us with our emotions uh, that yes we should not uh, cry be emotional and things like that the vulnerability it's uh, in our societies more uh, for the men it's a weakness but not in tantra in tantra mature masculinity one of the main things is that the men have open heart that man is in touch with his emotions and believe me it's uh, sometimes more brave to cry out in front of your beloved, uh, cry out, uh, release all this uh, shame, uh, guilt from crying out, uh, free yourself from these conditions that the boys don't cry. One of the biggest uh, bullshit uh, what make us living in the cage. So sometimes this crying out showing your vulnerability op being open with your emotions it's more brave than punching the biggest guy in the disco club so yes uh, this is real mature masculinity that's what makes us growing that's what make liberates us in tantra we recognize that um, beside of the gender we have both feminine and masculine energy and our freedom, our internal freedom, what uh, nobody can take from us, depends from being free to use the feminine power and the masculine power in any circumstances for your own comfort and for the, to let the energy flow. Sometimes maybe when we want to uh, take care for the kids, uh, uh, or uh, paint uh, a painting uh, uh, maybe it's nice to go into the feminine uh, energy sometimes yes uh, but when we want to uh, when we play football or uh, 
when we have some uh, goal to achieve, we have to task, we have some deadline, that's the moment when maybe you might go into more your masculine energy. So yes, uh, when you are free to go as far as you like into your feminine side, to cry out, to show off your emotions, you don't block them, you don't suppress them. Suppressing the emotions, uh, uh, it keeps them inside of you and you are more tense, you are, the energy doesn't flow, it's blocked. And uh, when you suppress them uh, so much, then uh, they may explode in some moment without you having any control because you never learn how to enjoy your emotions or how to uh, uh, observe your emotions and don't allow them to take over uh, you. So, so uh, yes, when they come, you cannot handle them anymore and they come with such an explosion it's uh, like you know you have like the air ball and you try to push it uh, under the water as more uh, under the water you try to push it the ball try to uh, escape much stronger and uh, as more you push it uh, uh, down, then uh, 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 it would come out with the str uh, uh, bigger strength, yes? So the same are with your emotions, you suppress it, suppress it until some moment and then it explodes. If you keep suppressing them, they transform into the feelings what you carry. You s live with uh, these emotions, suppressed emotions are affecting you and uh, you not enjoying life, you walk like this, you know, like, or you have depressions and they transform into the bigger issues, uh, uh, in, even into disease, what can kill you. So yes, Tantra guides us to release the emotions, to let it out, and as more you release the emotions, then you uh, let the energy flow. and. Uh, Yes, um, you uh, like cry out, then you know, all this suppression from the years, from the generations even, you know, like from our grandfathers, you let it out, then your energy start to free you so much. And then, you know, when you have open heart, the energy, what flows between the sex and the heart, in you and in uh, uh, between the woman when she also have uh, it will help her to open her sexuality fully and to heal her sexuality your open heart because it flows it flows you become a healer for her when you open the heart when you heal yourself you uh, expand that healing to her and then she also f uh, it all flows Yes, it's like when it's free. So, 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 um, yes, it helps your relationship, not only in your internal relationships, but also in your uh, relationship with uh, your uh, outer goddess, with your inner goddess and with the outer goddess. So, yes, um, um, vulnerability it's very important in Tantra. So allow yourself to feel vulnerable. Sometimes when you um, allow yourself to feel vulnerable with anything, like for example, when you uh, have soft lingam and you do not have erection, it's very often the moment when you, most of the men are uh, feeling shame, uh, guilt, um, uncomfort, and so, uh, and they uh, feel bad about themselves, and it's a loop. Uh, they don't, uh, they are not able to escape that loop because uh, it's like uh, as more they think about it, then it get uh, it get worse, and so. But in this moment, when you just start observing your vulnerability. And if you have lover who accept that, who 
is in the Tantra, you, we, you can talk about, hey, look, this is how it goes. Uh, I, uh, 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 please don't push me, understand that uh, this is our process. Uh, try to make me comfortable, love me, and without uh, trying to make me hard or whatever. Uh, just uh, uh, allow me to be myself and you yourself, allow yourself to be yourself in that way you j and, and just observe, observe your vulnerability, allow the vulnerability to be there, allow the emotions to be there, observe your shame, observe uh, uh, feeling guilty, observe uh, feeling discomfort and so on and so on, uh, whatever it feels uh, just let it be and observe and then you will see that when you allow the emotions to be there they may dissolve may uh, lose control over you they don't rule your life anymore so yes but only when you allow it to be if uh, uh, you suppress your vulnerability it's uh, gonna <laughs> affect your life and so on. so it's uh, uh, and the vulnerability is a quality especially for the man to be in touch with it's and it makes you growing on all levels because your heart will be open so uh, yes uh, feel vulnerable any moment when you feel vulnerable don't try to suppress don't try to escape into like oh no i feel good and so uh, allow yourself and allow your partner to see your true self it's that's when the love uh, will uh, open its door because when she feels like wow you can be honest with her with your feelings then the moment when uh, she also opens uh, her self that's when she will feel wow on the energetical level on the emotional level it's really uh, it's beyond the mind understanding so yes that's very important uh, whenever you feel uh, the moments uh, to cry out let it be this will open your heart open your path to higher sexuality, higher relationship skills, big time. It's a huge step on the man's growth to become in touch with his emotions, release them. And um, so yes, there are ways, of course, during the healing, uh, during uh, uh, when you feel uh, to cry out, you just let it out. Uh, especially for men is more difficult but yes uh, allow go into this if you feel some sad memory what may it may make you cry uh, don't be afraid when they come just go deep into it don't try to think about something else don't path yourself hey everything is fine tomorrow would be good another day no go deep into that feel as it was at it is happening today something would hurt you this emotion what you suppress let it out so yes and the woman yes uh, understand it's good that you support the man in that process uh, one more thing what you can do uh, about uh, opening your uh, vulnerability it's uh, to talk to your hand talk to your other brother uh, sometimes uh, most of the uh, men circles uh, are aware about the power of uh, opening your truth, opening your emotions and so so uh, yes if there is any around uh, it's good that you go into it and you speak out speak out uh, to anyone uh, speak out to me speak out uh, to um, your beloved one uh, speak out uh, to uh, your best friend uh, go into the brothers circles uh, and uh, speak out uh, it uh, really helps when you see another uh, man having uh, similar issues uh, and uh, uh, similar journeys uh, 
and uh, being brave to uh, let it out it really helps uh, it's really inspiring so so yes uh, and you can inspire the others by being yourself and uh, let out whatever there is 